How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Sometimes You called Farland's Journey, and you're looking at 10 bucks on the PlayStation Store. And as of writing this, I'm not sure about stacks, but I believe it's only going to have four. This is a classic adventure platformer where you're playing as a little witch fighting off evil. There's hats you can pick up from enemies which have different passive abilities as well as providing an extra hit you can take before you lose any lives, as well as wands you can pick up which all have different attack styles. The wands do have a sort of ammo to them which is consumed when you shoot, but that can be replenished by sprinting over any pots on the ground. You could collect gems and go back to the first level to buy the wands, but I never felt the need to during my playthrough as you find them pretty frequently. Trophy-wise, we really only have one task. Find all 16 of the puzzle pieces hidden throughout the first 12 levels. Levels will either have one or two, with all but levels 11 and 12 having the second piece being a reward for beating the boss at the end of the level. There is no real point in worrying about the gems unless you plan on shopping, but I never really felt a reason to, as you have unlimited lives. Once you run out of your three hearts, you'll just start back at the beginning of whatever screen you're on, so you don't even have to redo the whole level if you do die. The same applies for boss fights. If you do end up dying, you'll restart at the beginning of the boss's room, but the boss won't have regenerated any of its health, so you can just throw yourself at them until you take them out. Going in completely blind, this took me a little under two hours to finish but that included a lot of backtracking and time to figure out what the different hats did. I would definitely recommend the one with the goggles, as it makes you auto-sprint, or the bunny ears, as it gives you a huge vertical jump, allowing you to bypass a lot of the monsters. Definitely try to be stingy with your ammo, as the default wand you use, the bubble wand, is atrocious, and caused me to die as often as I killed things. No running commentary for this one, it's a pretty linear platformer. You start on the left side of the screen and move through the level, eventually exiting on the right side of the screen. Just think Mario, it's basically the same idea. I'm going to leave timestamps down below so you can see where to find each puzzle piece, including which screen in each level to find them on. I figure you start on screen 1, exit from there onto screen 2, etc. If you do happen to miss anything by the time you hit the end of the level, just backtrack. Enemies don't respawn, so you'll be able to just walk back to whichever screen you missed it on. That'll do it for me though, everybody. Super simple, easy, cheap, relatively fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 964 for me. Bye.